Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing great as always. Kind of suffering from allergies here, but you know, it's the start of spring here in Japan. So at least we got lots of uh, cherry blossoms around to photograph. So <laughs> anyways, let's just jump into the video. So if you're anything like me and you've gone out, you know, in the last little while and you bought yourself a 10 or 12 year old camera, this is the Fujifilm X10. And you've gone out shooting and say you've gotten like the best photo of your life and you really, really want to share it with everybody right then and there, throw it on Instagram and Twitter and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, these cameras are missing something that a lot of modern days cameras have that allow us to do this really quick and really easily. So with my Nikon Z9 and the Nikon SnapBridge app, I'm actually able to connect my camera and my phone via the Wi-Fi that is internal in the camera, download the images right away onto my phone, quick little edit and give it to clients. And this is something I've actually been doing more and more while I'm out shooting, because a lot of people just want to get a quick image right away so they can share it on their Instagram or like I said, Twitter and that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, cameras like the Fujifilm X10 and other cameras that are so old don't have the internal Wi-Fi capabilities that say a more modern camera like the Nikon Z9 would have. But there's something online that I found that really fixes this and it's a really streamlined solution and it's really, really helpful and useful when you're out shooting in the street and you really wanna share those images quickly. Now I'm sure this is old news for some people, but for me this was kind of an interesting thing because I've never really had to get one of these. And this is one of these Wi-Fi memory cards. Now for me, I'm 45 this year and this is just insane technology in my brain. Like this little card, has Wi-Fi in it. And it's not even a memory card. This is what, this is a memory card adapter. I've never taken this out since I put it in. So here it is here. This is the this is the memory card. And this is the Easy Share Wi-Fi memory card adapter that I got for my Fujifilm X10 off of Amazon. So yeah, what this allows me to do is I can now connect my X10 to my iPhone through the Easy Share app. And then I can download the photos and edit them right away. Like the other day I was coming home from work and I was coming up the stairs at the train station and the sun was just setting down there. Perfect light coming into this, uh, the train station where everyone was waiting. Grabbed my X10, took a couple snapshots, took a couple shots of the people working on the station and stuff like that. And then I jumped on the Shinkan set. Anyway, I wanted to share those images right away, but pulling on my laptop and doing all that kind of stuff was a pain in the butt. So luckily I could just connect my iPhone through the app and I could edit them on my iPhone and then I could share the images right away. And while there's still, you know, that excitement that's fresh in my mind from taking the photos and you know, I really know how I want to edit it and everything like that right away, all that excitement's still there. And I had a great time, you know, 20 minutes on the Shinkansen as I was coming home, editing the photos, shared it to uh, Instagram and Twitter and even Reddit and uh, got a lot of great attention for it. So it was a lot of fun, super easy to use. One thing I should mention, there are ones where it's an actual memory card, which is nice because, you know, it's a memory card, it's fine. But the problem with that is once that card gets full, then you'd have to have another Wi-Fi capable memory card to throw in your camera if you still want to use it. So I kind of recommend uh, these adapters because I can take any memory card. I've got a bunch of these little ones here. So if any one of them does fill up, I can just toss another one in there. Really easy and I can still be on the go and use the Wi-Fi capabilities on this on a new, new card and I don't need to go out and now buy all new cards for my camera, so it's really good. Okay, so let's throw this in the camera and we'll give a quick demonstration how the Easy Share app works. It might be different for the, the maker and that that you buy, but they're all gonna be pretty much the same, I think. So let's just toss this in here, turn my camera on. So if it doesn't connect right away, you just have to go to your Wi-Fi, find it and connect to it because I was connected to my house Wi-Fi. This is where I'm at right now. Okay, it's connected. Go back to the app. Now it shows me all the photos I have on the card that I can choose from. You can see here that I shoot RAW and JPEG, just in case you never know when you wanna have the RAW, so I always shoot that as well. And then I go through and I can just pick any one image that I like. So let's get one of the ones that I had from the, the other day that I was mismentioned. And from here I can download the image. It adds it to the download key. So it'll now download the image from the camera to the app. And then I go, Back here, go to the local download key. It's still going. So this can take a couple of seconds. Just depends on where you're at and what's going on. So just give your uh, give your phone and your camera a few seconds to go. I can go back to the local album. Here I have it here. And now I'm going to save to album, and it will save to my phone. And then I can use whatever local app that I have for editing my images on my phone to edit the image and send it out. So. Really quick and simple, quite nice, and it was really fun using this when I was out shooting the other day. One thing I should note is your camera might wanna turn off if you're not using it for a while, if you have it set like that. So sometimes the download might take a few minutes or you're downloading a whole lot of images at the same time. So make sure you're keeping your camera on, don't let it go to sleep, because then you'll lose the connection, obviously. So just make sure that's on and stays on while you're trying to use the app. So yeah, that's it. You know, these uh, memory card adapters are super useful with the internal Wi-Fi. If you're out on the street and you want to share something right away, pop it onto your phone, your iPad, 
as fast as you can and edit it while you're on the go. Maybe you're on the way back from a shoot like I was. A lot of fun, really, really enjoyable, and it just takes a lot of the uh, the nuisance out of having to use a dongle or you know having to wait till you get home or having to pull out your uh, your full computer and stuff like that. Because a lot of times with these apps on your phone and that you can edit the photos really, really well while you're on the go with uh, things like this. So yeah, hope this helps. Thanks again for all the comments. And uh, I, you might have noticed I've got a new setup here. If you have any questions or comments about it or any way I can improve the setup, let me know. I'm still working this out a little bit. So yeah, cheers. Thanks a lot. Hope to hear from you soon.